You are warmly welcome to Joshua Okuwe Online Maths. In this channel, we make mathematics so simple for everyone to understand. And in this video, we will be demonstrating how we can easily factorize certain expressions. In our previous video, we mentioned that we have trinomials, can be monomials, it can be a polynomial expression, we can still factorize them. So please watch this video now and see how we'll be demonstrating how we can actually factorize this. We have three questions here on the board. The first one says a squared minus open bracket b plus 4, close bracket a plus 4b. We're expected to factorize this. Now, what are we supposed to do? Now, a, a squared minus b plus 4, a plus 4b. Now, first thing is to open this bracket. So that will be what a square. This minus also affecting the bracket. This is also affect. So minus b times a that will give us what minus a b minus 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 4a minus 4 times a that will give us what minus 4a plus 4b. Now what will I do here? I'm going to collect like you can see this is a and I'm having a here. So what will I do? I can easily bring these close things. I'm having B here and this is B. So that would be what? A squared minus 4A minus AB plus 4B. Now, look at this. Remember in your previous I said when you are factorizing, we try to work in pairs like this. Look at this and this. Something is common between them and that is A. So I can bring the A out. This is A minus 4. Something is common here. And what is that? That is B. So minus B open bracket A. Now my um what I need to do here is to ask myself what will I multiply by whatever I'm having? That is a common factor so that I will get this expression here. So minus B times it will give me minus A B. Now, what will be the sign here? Will it be minus or plus? I also need to put this sign so consideration. Minus times minus will give me plus. That means that minus will be here. So now, minus b times what to give me um, plus 4b, that would be what? Minus 4. So, minus times minus is plus, b times what give me what? 4b. Now, look at what you have in the bracket here. You find out that they are the same. So, what do I do? I'll take at a minus b, put bracket a minus 4. And that is our answer to that question. It's not difficult at all. Now, let's look at the second one now. I want x squared minus xy minus dx plus dy. Now, if you look at this, this and this, we have a common factor here, and that's what the common factor here is what x. So, x times all give me x squared, that is what x, minus x times all to give me what xy, that will be what y. Okay, look at dx and dy. They also have a common factor, and what is that? d. So, minus d. Now, minus d times 1 to give me minus dx, that should be x. Put x as well. Minus d times 1 so give me what minus dx. So, minus d times 1 to give me plus dy. The answer should be minus or uh, minus y. Okay, so that minus times minus is plus. d times 1 so give me what dy. Now, look at what you're having in the bracket here. You find out that what I'm having in the bracket here, they are the same. So, that should be what? We just take one of them. So, the word x minus d x minus d, open bracket, x minus y. So that is it. We have done that. We have factorized this particular expression. Not difficult at all. Very simple. Now let's take the third one now. That is c now. We have 5xy plus 90qy minus 30y squared minus 15sq. Now what I'm going to do now we want to rearrange this expression now. So look at what I'm going to do. This and this, I'm having y here. So you have a common factor. So I'm going to bring them together. 90qy and 15sq. You also have a common factor. So I'm going to take them together. So this is what 5xy minus 30y squared minus 15sq plus 90qy. Now what is the common factor here? One factor of 5xy and minus 30y squared, because you agree with me that that is what? 5, um, 5y. 
So 5y times what to give me 5xy? That should be what? X. Okay? So 5y times what to give me minus 30y squared? That should be what? Minus 6. Yes, 6y. That is it. 5y times... Um, 5y times 6y will give me what? 30y squared. 5 times 6 is 30. Y times y is what? Y squared. Okay, so now we are here now. So what is the common factor of this minus 15sq and um, plus 90qy? Of course, you agree with me that is um, 15, 15q. Okay, so ask again. What will I multiply by, by 15q so that I will get minus 15sq? You agree with me that that is going to be what? X. So if I should multiply minus 15q times S to give me minus 15SQ. Okay? Now, to get this plus here, minus times minus, minus times minus to give me plus. So now, 15Q times what to give me 90QY. That should be 6. 6, 6 Y. That is it. Minus times minus plus. 15 times 6 is 90. Q times Y is QY. Now, look at the bracket here. You find out that what we have in the bracket that they are the same, so we're going to take just one of them. So this and this goes together. That will be what? 5y minus 15q. Okay? Then we take one now. x minus 6y. And that is our answer. So we have successfully answered this question. So that is it. It's not difficult at all. So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'm going to please just click the subscription button. Just click it. Click the subscription button and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. Like our videos and share our videos on all your social media platforms. We will so much appreciate you for doing just that for us. Once again, thank you so much for visiting Joshua Okwe Online Math. And please watch out for more videos on this topic. Bye-bye for now.